Hi guys, Pete the Wargamer here, back with another speed painting tutorial. And in this video, I'll be tackling the World Eaters Chaos Space Marine Legion using the Citadel range of paints. Now, the intention of this tutorial is to get your miniatures painted up to a respectable gaming standard in as little time as possible, using as fewer paints as possible. Because, after all, playing with painted miniatures of any standard is better than boring bare plastic. So, some key things to note before we start. Paint all of your miniatures at the same time, applying each colour to each model before moving on to the next paint. And remember to keep the steps quick and not worry too much about little mistakes or getting things perfect. The first step in painting is to prime so that the later layers of paint properly stick to the surface of the model. I've opted to use a black spray primer for this task as it will help to create shading in the recessed areas when we start to apply our layers of paint. Following the primer, we next want to dry brush the whole model using some Mournfang Brown. To dry brush, load up a large brush with some paint and drag it across a piece of paper or tissue so only a little paint remains in the bristles. I also like to keep my brush ever so slightly damp during this task as it will help to reduce that dusty texture that dry brushing often creates. Some people refer to this technique as wet brushing. Drag your brush across the whole miniature. The paint will start to accumulate onto the slightly more raised areas, leaving only the black visible in the recesses. As you can see, this is a very quick and easy step to perform. The light reddish brown of the paint will serve three purposes. First, it gives us a better base colour to build up from when we add the red. It also provides the base colour for any leather areas and also creates a slightly rusted appearance to our silver metallic areas when we come to them later on. Next, we want to create the iconic red colour of the World Eater's armour, and for this, I'll be using some Mepherson Red rather than the Corn Red, as it's much brighter and will give us a richer overall red. Follow the same steps as before, but rather than dry brushing the whole model, instead, just focus on the armour panels. Using a smaller brush for this step will help. Don't worry if you overspill, as we're not too worried about the small mistakes, as these won't be as noticeable once the model is on the tabletop. This dry brushing technique should build up a nice deep red colour across the armour, as well as a slightly rough texture, perfect for representing the older, more unkempt armour of the Chaos Space Marines. Using the same dry brushing technique as before, this time we want to pick out some of the iconic bronze detailing of the model using some Balthazar gold. These areas include the trim around the armour and also a few of the smaller adornments and symbols. As these areas are much more intricate than before, use a smaller brush and lightly drag the bristles along these metallic areas. The next step involves using another metallic paint for the silver areas, and for this, I've opted to use some lead belcher. The metal areas include the bolter, as well as a few other small details on the backpack and the armor. After this step, be sure to thoroughly clean out your brushes and change your water to avoid any cross-contamination of metal flakes to your other paints. To finish off, we can start to apply a little more colour variation to our world eater, and also bring out some of the other details. But before we do, we first need to thin our paint a little. Mix in water in small amounts until your consistency is similar to what you see here. Unlike my other videos, this time we need to create a thinner paint in order to make it easier to apply, rather than just giving us a good smooth coverage. For this task, I'll be using some Zandri dust, and this will be focused over any skulls or cloth areas on the model. Apply your thin paint over these red areas, but don't paint the whole area. Just apply some quick brush strokes over cloth folds, making sure that you leave the recesses dark to help boost the contrast and enhance those details. And here we have the completed Chaos Space Marine painted in a World Eater scheme. I finished things off by creating a simple basing scheme using some textured paints and some more dry brushing. While this particular model didn't have any bare skin, you could easily tackle flesh by applying some Rakar flesh in the same way as we applied those last layers. This single miniature took me around 25 minutes to paint, but this per miniature time could be sped up further if you're painting a larger batch of models, so a full 10-man squad could easily be painted in under 3 hours. While the paint job certainly won't win any awards, it's a good way of quickly getting your force painted up. After all, it's much better to play with a fully painted army than a tide of bare grey plastic. If you're interested in how I converted this model, be sure to check out my World Eaters conversion tutorial you'll find a link to in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions on what other armies I could speed paint, do let me know in the comments below, and also check out my Discord server in the description as well. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching, and goodbye.